Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is British Guy Gaming. And today we're going to be looking at more KOTOR mods. These ones are going to be ones that help the game more, look more aesthetically pleasing and make the game less of an eyesore, especially for a game that came out 16, 17 years ago and their graphics are now dated. So the first one we're going to look at is the high resolution menus and widescreen fix. All this does is once you widescreen the game, as you can do in the link to my video in the description and once you download the mods correctly which I didn't do originally because I'm an idiot you have a widescreen version of the main menu instead of having the really tiny screen with all the weird grey backgrounds and sides this also applies to the character creation as you can see here if we to go in we would simply have the small screen normally but here we have the wide one this one applies all the way through and it is a great mod if you've just jumped into the game and you're like it's a bit dated but i don't know how to install screen skins and all that this one just makes the start a bit more pleasing whilst keeping its natural feel so the second mod or third mod technically we're going to be looking at is the fixed feet icons all this does simply is make the icons a lot cleaner in game and makes them a lot more pleasant to look at instead of being the low quality they are when it originally came out it just makes it look a lot cleaner since you'll be coming onto these screens quite a bit the fourth mod as you can see here we have colored loading screens all this does is change the loading screens that normally come in a weird turquoise or bluish tint to them or over the top overlay it simply removes that and leaves it in its colored form so in so if you just go to any part of the map this isn't including modding areas this is just including the vanilla game you would simply have a colored loading screen the next mod we have is the high resolution beams mod all this does is improve the quality of beams that come out example would be shock as you briefly saw there it looks a lot cleaner than the vanilla game which is if you're a dark side user and you know what you're doing you're going to be using full storm a lot and you're going to be seeing these type of high resolution beams quite often and these are very important as well if you're going to see them a lot you're going to not want to have them constantly draining your eyes due to how dated they've become over time as you can see here force lightning and drain life have both had improved quality done to them and this area leads on to our next mod of bodies stay in kotar one so when you kill an enemy you'll notice that the bodies disappear and they become a little sensual for example as you could see there if you looked closely on the sith underneath him was that little object normally his body would despawn but with this mod it means none of the bodies will despawn their little belts will obviously still spawn so you can search them but apart from that their bodies will remain in game by doing this it makes it feel like the game carries over a shorter period of time if you just rushed into an area and you come back a minute later and all the bodies are gone or they disappear it ruins that immersive feeling and this just allows you to keep that carrying on here guys is another example of the coloured loading screens unfortunately my game loads quite quick so it's hard to see them but as you can see right there this one is in colour and this leads on to our final mod I'm going to show you here today which is the high quality blasters mod a very popular mod amongst people that play KOTOR so guys we're going to here look at calves to blasters normally if you've played the game they are a lot lower quality as you can see here compared to well this it's a great little mod it really does help improve the atmosphere also both the rifles are also put into higher quality as you will see here in a second as you can see here's the blaster rifle and it is also in a much more detailed appearance than it would appear normally also if you are to look at their icons in game you can see how much detail has been put in just this little icon alone and this is just the blaster rifle calves also has this along with the eye on blaster here i can tell this mod definitely took a lot of effort and a lot of time so i definitely recommend you check it out 
Hello everyone, that will be every mod I'm covering here today. I will be releasing more mods in the coming days. Tomorrow will be KOTOR 2 and the day after will be KOTOR once again. If you did enjoy the video, I would appreciate if you did leave a like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. And leave a comment on what you think. I do like to engage with all of you, especially when you comment. Anyway guys, I will see you all next time. Goodbye.